I'm Simon Dewsbury, PGA Staff Professional here at Belmont Country Club. We're continuing our series on how to think your way around the golf course. Right now we're going to look at hole number 11. It's a long par 3, so it's a pretty tough hole. We've got a bunker short left. We've got to really think about how we're going to approach this shot. The green itself is quite long, but narrow as well. So club selection and maybe thinking about bailout areas is going to be critical for us. Let's go. Hole 11, definitely one of the harder holes on the golf course. Really long par three, now 228 from the gold tees. The green goes uh, right to left, front to back, so it does favor a right to left shot shape to feed down the green. And we do have a big bunker that is short. So be confident, don't be afraid of actually going a little bit long on this hole. It's gonna be an easier bailout shot to be long than short. But if you are confident with your bunker play and that flag is tucked short left hand side, it might be an option to knock it into the bunker and play to get up and down from there rather than trying to leave it in the fairway here and play a pitch shot into it. Again, play to your strengths. We do have all this, this right hand side here that we can bail out into. We've got the throat of the green that we can play down into, but maybe going a little bit long isn't a bad option. If you do have to play from the back tees, 228. Uh, we're a little bit into the breeze as well today, so I'm gonna be hitting my hybrid, but it's gonna be for most of the, the club golfers around here, especially full three wood, maybe even driver. Uh, and as we move forward, again, ability comes into play. A lot of our lady members, they like to hit driver on this hole. They shy away from it because it's a par three and they don't feel like they should be playing driver but play the course to your strengths. and Don't let the course dictate to you what you have to do. Again, once we get up here onto the tee, see the shot that you want to play. In my eye, I see this as a draw coming off that chimney stack on the house behind the green. I'm going to play it down the throat of the green then into the flag. And just hit that one dead straight, a little fade, just coming up short of the green. Well, not what I wanted, but safe. All right, moving forwards from the goals, there's a bit of a separation. And the blue and the white tee, again, they share the same tee, but we lose a little bit of elevation. And as we move down here, the viewpoint changes just a little bit. We're more at the same level as the, the green now. And 195 from the blue tees. So again, another 10 yards for the, for the whites. The shot shape realistically hasn't changed that much. If we can, we want to draw it in around the edges of the bunker and down the throat of the green. If you're gonna bail out, I would probably prefer to bail out long than short. So coming into the breeze, take one more club than you think. But if you're confident with your bunker play, don't be scared of going into the bunker as well. Give yourself an easy little splash shot to get up and down. But I think probably going a little longer than short is your best option in terms of clubbing up and a little bit right of the flag and it should feed around to the flag when it lands. Again, moving forwards, white tees, it's the same shot. Just again, 10 yards further up. Um, this angle does actually just drift, depending on which side of the tee box they've got the markers on. This does drift a little bit further right and opens up the, the mouth of the green just a touch more. So we've got a little bit of a bigger bailout zone in our viewpoint. It doesn't really change from the blues to the whites in terms of the actual shot, but the viewpoint changes a little bit, makes it look a little bit wider open. So again, easy, it looks easier, builds the confidence. And again, play down the throat into the green. 
Now moving forward to the greens, we really begin to see a difference in the viewpoint from the gold tees and upwards to the forward tees. So as we move forwards now, the green tees and then onto the red tees, we're still pretty much at the same level as the green here when we're on the green tees. 155, playing to your ability though, if you're ever unsure, if you're in doubt as to which club to hit, take the stronger club. Get past the trouble if you can do. Going long on this hole is not a bad idea. Um, it still favors a draw, but our bailout area long right is going to give us an easier little chip shot or pitch shot coming down the throat of the green than it would be if we miss it on the left side coming back up the hill or out of the bunker if you're not confident with your sand shots. As we move into the red tees though, this one we are a little bit below green level. And I alluded to it on the back uh, when we did the intro to this hole. It's sometimes mentally hard to accept that we need to hit driver. If you're playing from this tee, we're coming into the breeze, we're going a little bit uphill to the green itself. Don't be scared of taking the club that's going to make the hole play easiest for you. We have some of our members here who have difficulty mentally taking that driver as an option because it's a par three, I shouldn't be hitting driver. And they end up taking a fairway wood and coming up short and dumping it into the sand or leaving it way back and having a more difficult shot. Take the driver, get it over the trouble and give yourself the easiest options you can for your next shot. Make the hole play to your strengths. With the, with the tee shot, I actually got a little lucky than I thought. I thought I was back here on the fringe and it's turned out to actually be on the putting green. So yay me. Obviously make sure you keep your superintendent happy. Keep your fellow golfers happy. Repair your pitch marks before you then clean the golf ball. Now this one, I am a long way away. So pace is going to be really important to me here. I do need to read the green using the periphery, using the edges. I've got a high spot there coming off the shoulder of the bunker there, pushing down this way and comes across here and down towards me. Then I've got a little bowl that comes off that way and into that little drop off there. And then that back left third pushes away towards the gap between the two houses and towards that out of bounds marker. So I've got the slope pushing this way to start with, then I go over the crest and it goes the opposite way, left to right, then right to left. So direction is going to be important. My distance is going to be even more important. Make sure that I'm never going to be too far away in terms of length of put. Feel it out. It didn't move quite as much as I expected, but again, my distance control is my most important factor. I'm not going to miss it left by four or five feet or right four or five feet, but I could miss it four or five feet long or short. 
If I can focus on that distance control, my direction is going to take care of itself and I leave myself with an easy little tap in, save my par. Pretty straightforward, two foot tapping. But still going through my routine. Keep the routine the same all the time. You're never changing your anxiety levels. Everything's a constant, keeps you comfortable. If you do end up in the bunker, uh, we're not gonna go into it right now because we have a specific bunker video that we've shot and that has already been released. So you can always reference that. Uh, we've got obviously, depending on where that flag is, a nice easy little splash shot if the, the, green, the flag is on the front side of the green. If it's a lot further up, we've also got what we talked about in that video for a much longer splash shot to play. So. Don't think that we're abandoning the idea of playing the bunker shot here on the green. We just already covered that in another video. Thanks for watching. If you're a new viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave some comments on what you'd like to see as we go forward. Also, if there's things that you don't like and you think we need to improve on, let us know. Because again, we're still learning how to do this. We'll see you soon.